What is up everybody? I hope you're doing alright. This is a friend Rat with another video from Paragon and today with the monolith just around the corner I decided to do something completely different that I usually do. It's not gonna be a full match gameplay, neither it will be a guide. It will be a video with some general thoughts of how can we be good players. And I'm not only thinking about skills and mastering abilities and particular heroes, just how to be a good player, how we should behave, how should we assist each other, so in general how to be aware, because awareness is everything in Paragon. So with that being said, let's just move on. In the meantime, I will play you some Narbash gameplays which I had lately. I think he will be a great hero on the new map. So something to look at while we're talking about this. And I will divide this into three parts, the pre-game, in-game and post-game. Because frankly, I think that in Paragon the game begins not only when you enter the map, but it begins much earlier. So, point one. Before you enter any game, I think it's very important to know your hero. Don't just jump into a PvP match without playing a bot game first and analyzing your hero's abilities, when and where they could be useful and how to time them and how to counter the different heroes. I know it may be boring and time consuming, but believe me, it will be bring nothing but advantage both to you and your team. And as you know, having an advantage in MOBA usually means winning and that means lots and lots of fun, because who likes losing, yeah? So remember, play your hero at least once with bots, check the abilities, check the cooldown reductions on them and just analyze how and when you can use them. So the next very important thing at the beginning, before you start any game, is try to learn at least one hero from each category, from fighters, junglers, rangers, casters, tanks and support. Why? That's what bring us, brings us to the next point. Be always aware of your team composition during the draft. Don't be selfish, don't try to play the hero you want at all costs. I know sometimes it might be difficult, I know sometimes you feel with one you feel better with one hero than another, but really, check what role you are missing in your team and try to fill it if nobody else is eager to do so. Believe me, that is what good players do. Another very important issue before you start the match is to build your deck correctly. And I don't mean like calculate every single point just to have it perfected. That comes with time, with practice, with matches, with basically with all the experience you get in Paragon. But what I mean is take some time to calculate just the points. Be sure that you have full 60 points in your deck and when in the match by the end you have all 60 points be sure to you can benefit fully from your deck that you are not missing one point because really it's a very bitter disappointment when you reach 60 cp and it appears that one of your cards uh, had a two point upgrade instead of one point upgrade and you actually can't use it you can't finish your card and you can't benefit from your build fully so that's a very important thing. Even in the beginning, if you have trouble calculating how much points you should spend on each of the cards, just try to build them in tens. So basically you can have six 10 point cards by the end of the game. And even if you have more than six in your deck, you can just change them around and you will always end up with full 60 points uh, by the time you reach 60 CP in the game. So this is very important. I, for example, in my first few matches, I simply sat with a paper, sheet and pen and I calculated my points just to be sure I have 60 points total and I won't be disappointed toward, towards the end of the match. Okay, so now we have our heroes and decks covered, it's time to jump right into the game. So, first thing off, when we start it's important to choose your lane. Well, it should be done during the draft, but I noticed that people hardly ever do it and it can change when you when you enter the map. So it's important to be aware where your teammates go, which lane is uh, staying uncovered and simply be a better man. If there are some people who are playing in pairs or in, th or in threes and they like want to be desperately with each other on the lane, Simply go and cover the one that is empty. I'm sure everyone else will appreciate it and it will show that you are a thinking, aware and basically a good player. 
So another very important part of the game is communication. I can't even start to stress how important that is to let your teammates know what you are about to do or what you are doing at the time. So for example, if you are laning with someone and you need to go to base, just ping them, be right back. They know they don't have your coverage, they know that they have to be more careful for those few seconds or I don't know, even a bit more once until you come back from the base. So that is important, ping your on my way if someone is pinging for help, if someone is pinging to attack or prime or someone is pinging to defend or attack any of the lanes. It's very, very important to let them know what you're about to do. For example, if a huge wave of minions is approaching one of your towers and everyone is pinging defend left lane, defend left lane, if you're the one you, who can ping on my way and you're actually going there then the rest can focus on whatever else they were doing on a team fight or getting another tower or getting your prime it's very important to communicate remember that check all the pings that you have in the game learn how to use them easy fast and effectively if you heard the expression that words save lives it is nothing but true Believe me, sometimes in the beginning you may not really think of it, but, but it's a very true statement and words are really really important in this game. Actually, if you could only have at least one one point scout word in the beginning, it's a great advantage right there. If you place your words a little bit deeper into the jungle, not just by your lane, you can earn those few seconds each time enemy is trying to gank you, enemy is trying to approach your lane. And believe me, those few seconds very, very often can save your life. Well, not only yours, but your teammates as well. So remember, just regardless of what type of hero you are playing, if you are solo laning, if you are a jungler, get those words in your deck, place them around the map, really they will save someone's life. If not yours, I'm sure at least one of your teammates. And basically the last in-game point I would like to focus on is don't be a bitch. It's just that simple. And I don't mean like die and fuck up certain situations and like don't have skill. That's not the point. You can't be the, the very good player right from the beginning, it comes with experience, so this is not what I'm talking about. This, the fuck-ups will happen regardless of how professional you are, how long you have been playing, even the top players make mistakes, so it's not about the skill or the way you play your hero. I mean, don't insult players, don't sarcastically good job people if they die, or fuck up anything and most important don't rage quit there is nothing more frustrating than seeing a teammate disconnecting uh, and being left 4v5 or 3v5 of course sometimes those are winnable as well I've experienced this myself but trust me this is like dropping the morale very very low after someone disconnects and especially when you see that this is a rage quit like someone is zero kills nine deaths and I don't know two assists and they suddenly disconnect from the game just don't do it don't be a bitch stay till the end help your teammates if you lose you lose don't be a bitch so regardless of winning or losing the match there is always something you can do post game the match does not end when you lose or when you win so basically what i always do the first thing is to take a good look at the players i was playing with in that particular match if someone disconnected don't be afraid to report them this is something they should be punished for if someone was abusing or spamming the chat or spamming the in-game comms don't be afraid to report them as well we don't need toxic players in this community we all should be having fun we all should be friendly to each other during the games and i think this the positive attitude this is something that really is a great part of winning a game and basically having fun while playing it And the last thing I'd like to do after the game ends 
I think it's very important to take a close look at the deck you just played with and just analyze if you need something more uh, or if you could remove something from it, replace or anything like that. I think this will generally improve your performance in, uh, in Paragon and basically give you more idea of how the decks work, how they are uh, suited for particular heroes and yes this is this is basically what I do I after every game I just try to think if I can slightly change anything in my deck if I need something more if I could remove something from it just basically go through the match in my mind and try to figure out if there's something I could change so this is basically what I wanted to talk to you about. I think these are very general points. I know that you might already know, be aware of some of those. You may have experience with MOBA and you are pretty much aware of how things work. But I think now with the new map launch with the Monolith, there will be a lot more players in Paragon, a lot more new people who I think Maybe some of them didn't have any experience in mobile and they are not quite sure how it works. So I think just focusing on those few points, few very general points in the beginning, can give you a very good start to be a good player, to understanding how to be good, how to be aware. Because as I said, I think in MOBAs and Paragon, the awareness is everything, really. The skills, the way you play your heroes, you can learn that with time, you can learn that with experience. If you play enough matches with one hero, you can basically know them inside out. But being a good aware player, that takes, I think, something else that's just practice. It's, you need to work on your mindset and your attitude to, to achieve that. So let me know what you think about it. I think it's very important. I'm open to any discussion you would like to start, so don't be afraid to put your thoughts in the comments. I always welcome any kind of feedback, criticism, as long as it's constructive. And I'm really looking forward to contributing to the Paragon community and finding any ways to make it a better one, a more friendly one, and basically more aware, of course. So thank you very much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content from Paragon. I'm, I assure you that I will be posting a lot of gameplays from Monolith once it launches tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Take care. Rat out.